There you go. That corner fully rebuilt. And thanks everyone for their well wishes. The bulletin was due to be repeated the next hour, but... Right, Saturday the 27th of April, half eight, nearly. <clears throat> Solo today, so we're on a wall repair today. Well, I'm on a wall repair. Oh, bit, bit to fix on the end. Coping, coping's back on. Then level up here, rebuild this, cut this pit, cut this back, and put a brick and a half pillar on the end that comes up a bit higher with a pea cap on so that she can. Um, she can sight the wall as she's reversing in because um, this was now between the car and the wall and the car one so I'm just waiting for the customer to wake up because uh, she's a pensioner and I'm on um, so a um, nice Saturday, Saturday job for me Alex is having a rest we spent the day yesterday fi finishing the drains on our porch at home it was a long day but um, we managed to get it done and it's ready for the dig now so uh, Let's get going. Right, we set up the electric. The hose plugged in, as you can see. I've dug out for the pillar. There's the original footing of the wall, and I've gone down under mill at the back. So I've got a bit of a um, ballast in the van. I'm going to knock up a bit of cement, concrete that in. I've um, traced this line through and measured back three, four, three, four, five. So I've got plenty of room to get the pillar in. I'm going to cut that down now, and then I'll be putting a screw tie into that wall to tie that wall into the pillar and obviously we've bonded into this the bricks are slightly different but they are these are red rustics from probably 25 years ago I've got red rustics from this week so they're slightly different a bit, bit orangey but that's the way they are now um, I might see how they clean up and do the main body of the wall and the old brick and just do the pillar with the new brick we'll see how we get on but yeah now that's all down and I'll get this cut out now Get the blower for the car. She said, "Don't worry about the car. Just blow the dust off." She's quite bad on the legs, so it's, it's more trouble for her to get in and out of the car. So, yeah, we'll get that cut out now. Get that done, not demolished, and we have a skip at home on the drive. Hold on, with that. so I've got somewhere to put all the crap for a change. Let's get this sorted. There we go, like butter. Straight through, no messing. 
Look at that. A little sorting now. Bit of um, ballast in there with a bit of cement. Get a mix on, ready to rock and roll. Okay, that's it. Oh yeah, I've got a new um, got a new thing for Milwaukee for our glasses. Actually, there you go. No rummage around under the seats anymore. That's where the safety glasses live. Let's get this last bit of cleaning up done. I can get my mix on. Right, prep work done. Everything's cleaned. Oh, I just need to brush now. There you go. I brought some SBR to bed. The um, coping's on. I've been watching Justin Britt. Right. Um, my new coping's don't quite match the old ones, but they never do. These are the old fat ones. But we can't really put those back on. We could, but it'd look a bit uh, rubbish. Um, so we've got we've got the new ones, which are very thin. So. We're going to put all the old ones at one end and put all the thin ones at the other so everything's balanced and then i've just spent an extra hour here just to make it look right so i've just uh, built it dry so i know how many bricks i'm doing so I've, I've more or less cleaned all the bricks up there's not many left so there's not many going in the skip i've got a load gonna have a load of new ones over but i just think it looked better Balancing it up with the same bricks and then building the pillar with the new bricks and then it, it, it obviously it's an add-on but it won't look as, as as crap as like the old bricks blending into the new bricks. Battery changed. Yeah, I'd rather it look like an add-on rather than a repair. Whereas if you built the new bricks coming down there would look like a repair. Whereas this just looks like it's been added on the pier. That's the that's the plan anyway. Obviously the mortar's gonna look new but it'll blend in eventually. Yeah, um, we have priced up next doors, as you can see. His is um, completely knackered. You can see it's starting to it's starting to lo move from there, and it's well wonky. Single skin holding back a foot up to 15 inches of soil. 
yeah, that's crap that. So um, we're just waiting for the, uh, waiting to press, press go on that one. So anyway, back, back to this one. That's all the um, extra work done. But I'd rather put that extra work in and make it look right. Um, so now I can get all these stacked up, get everything brushed off and get a mix in. I think nice, nice little half mix should do it. And then while the mix is mixing, I'll get all the crap rounded up and put in subs to take home to the skip.
<laughs> yeah. You get a bit of cake as well, don't you? Yeah, if you want something, yeah. But, yeah. yeah, we never got any cake when we're working next door. Yeah, we're going to have to have a word next time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have fun. Have yourself, mate. See ya. Careful on them knees. I know. I'm right down and the more I up, it's getting up and getting yeah, down. Yeah. Yeah. There's no Alex to pick me up. See you later.
There we go. Oh, yeah. Quarter past twelve. So we're all set for coping now, which I'm doing next. Those two are okay. And then these, I'm just setting these out to see what they look like. So we've got old ones to there. And then we've got a new one from here. I'll just blend them in as best we can. So there you go, the, the, the actual main body of the wall is all the same old brick. Shame about the corners where they've had mortar on them, but there's no clean ends. So from now, we go on to the red rustics, which are a bit, uh, bit more orange, but it won't look as bad because it's just like an add-on. It's just making it look as best you can. Obviously the same bricks, but it's like 25, 30 years difference between the two. And the place that makes them, Ravenhead, is closing down or it might have even closed down by now so I don't know where they're going to be made now they've always been they've always been made the Ravenhead Red Rustics Ravenhead is no more so who knows what they'll be called after this and what, what they'll look like because usually they make them just from factory and they don't really anything like it what they're supposed to another big headache for bricklayers especially in the northwest because like bricks tend to be specific to certain areas of the country like you see the old stock brick in London, you don't see them up here anywhere. And like you probably won't see a red rusty down in London. Right, that's gone off really quick that. I was quite surprised. So that's gonna get jointed up straight away. And it's uh, just turned one o'clock, I'll have my dinner. And Gary Davis is on the pick of the pop, so the radio's going on now. I don't know what year it is yet, but uh, back to time lapse and I'm gonna get this jointed up. And then it's coping time. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna mix up a bit of SBR and cement and um, coat the wall and coat the coping stuff. There we go, that's them rattled on. Ready, go. Excuse me.
that was a long video that's going to take a long time to download anything over five minutes is a killer anyway on the five i was going to put seven on i'm going to put eight on so we're looking like the same level as that end so you've just got to get it as best you can and then blend it in you know you, you want to build a beautiful, beautiful square flat pillar then you get three to go and then the pier cap and then i've got to go along and fiddle all these pier, uh, copings in fact i might do that now because they're probably going off a lot now That's all done. So um, that's all primed and ready. I'm going to let that go off a bit. That's already starting to go off, as you can see. And then we're going to join them together with a bit of water. But while while these go off a little bit, <coughs> so, like that, so this is going tacky. I'm going to tidy up, clean the mixer out, etc. And then get ready to go on. It's getting on for half three now. 10 to 4, made up with that. And it's trying to rain, so we um, time lapse all the tidy up and then um, we'll film the last bit going on. I'll bring it over. And we're on. So, oh, measurements right. Square it up. Are good Let's get tidy up. Get out of here. Four o'clock. If 
I can get tidied up for half four, I'll be made up. I've, I'm having a drink made now. But um, by the time I've um, got most of the tidying up done, I can gulp that down and get gone. Happy days. Five to five. That's disappointing. That's knackery on my own. Don't have Miss Alex and I'm on my own. Just the tidying up and brushing up just swallows your time. There you go. That corner fully rebuilt. The old bricks. The old bricks. Up to the level of the wall and new bricks on top. So you've just got a new pillar with the new copings and I think two two originals, three rebedded and then three and a bit new ones. So that's it. Oh and as you can see spotless as ever. So I'm going home. I'm gonna see Alex who's been digging outside our household most of the day on the porch and then I'm going to get into the outro so I'll see you back there from from the office thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed be sure to give us a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel and you want to see more hit subscribe and tap on that bell that way you'll always be notified when we upload it's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support this has been Brick Clean with Steve and Alex and we'll see you in the next one